Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Ugly Dog Challenge. Well, tonight I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. One second, yes. Thought you said I was live. You are live, and they can hear you. Okay. But they can't see you. We better quit jacking with stuff. You just did it again. I can hear you. I apologize, folks. Chris having technical difficulties. I don't know what he's doing. That ain't doing nothing. That just turns the flash off, Chris. That's creative auto. That's convective filters. It's manual exposure. Well, Chris, trying to figure out this camera over here. He broke Melissa's camera. Said that. He's trying to figure it out. If we don't get it in a minute, we'll flip around, have a conversation, not have a paint job. You started clicking that thing on the back is when you messed it up. That round button you was going click, click, click through all of it. Oh, 
Uh oh, she's cussing. I can hear you. Yeah, we're gonna go with Plan B. Now you and her figure it out, and I'll visit with them a little bit, and y'all can figure it out right here. She's going to tell you how to fix it. So... She's in a good chance. Well, I'll give you that back. All right, folks, here we are. So I guess we'll just have a trip. A uh, few minutes, he's going to figure out how to, what he did to that camera, I guess, him and Melissa, so. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, Chris. Hello, Ron. Hello, Jen. Hello, G Trapper. Hello, everybody tonight. Hello, Crankin'. We'll get to painting here in a minute. They're figuring out the camera over there. I think he pushed the wrong button. And it went all crazy on him. Hello, Caitlin. Oh, if it was me, I'd have whacked it with a hammer and been done with it. But it ain't me, so. It's not me tonight. So they're going to figure that out right quick, and then we'll plug up and start painting. So our paint tonight, I guess we can go ahead and go over that. Hello, Tanner. Uh, our colors for tonight are going to be pearl lime, blue sapphire, metallic blue sapphire, bright yellow, and hot saffron with a neon yellow glitter in it. Uh, we're gonna continue down that road of that uh, clear belly series with these colors and uh, show you what we got on that. Hello, Chill, how are you? Yeah, I new hope I agree. Are you two about to get that fingered out? Maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Well, how's everybody's Memorial Day weekend going? I guess Melissa's on her way back. Last I heard, she was somewhere down the road. I were somewhere. On her way back from Minnesota. Land of a 10,000 weeks. Glad to meet you, Tanner. Pretty hard to put up with Ron, ain't it? Oh, uh, chill. I've been painting like a crazy man the last two days. Uh, I was out of a lot of patterns, and I've been trying to catch back up with them. So, well, that's kind of what I've been doing the last two days. Paint, 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 paint. Get stock built back up with the website. That's what I've been up to. I guess tomorrow I'm probably going to run up to love it. My little brother asked me if I'm going to ride up there with him. I thought, well, might as well.
Oh, uh, gee, Trapper, I got to go do that, too. I get a hip and a knee. Uh, we'll pray for you for a quick recovery, buddy. And yeah, them walleyes better hide. Some good eating right there. My two favorite fish to eat in the world out of fresh water are walleye and crappie. It looks like Chris is working on it over there. So, Tanner, do you ever just grab old Ron up by the shirt collar and slap him around a little bit there, young man? Yeah, we'll see. I may quit for three days, and then I'll be right back on it when I get out. I've slowed down tremendously. My wife bought me some fake stuff. Holy crap! Y'all see that? I don't know what he's trying to do to me. I guess he's going back to the camera now. Did you get it fixed? I don't know. Yep. Cool. Well, I guess we'll get started painting. Here in just a second. Yeah, I don't know if I could put up with some of the people I had to put up to without it, but I'd give it a shot. Without my Copenhagen. Old bald head. Can you slide the laptop over to me? He wants me to touch the computer, folks. If it dies, it is not my fault. You got it? I think so. Camera not on up there. Mr. Hansel. But it is. Huh? It is. Well, you need to flip that thing around so I can watch it. One thing at a time, good sir. Hurry up before I get Ron down here to whoop your butt. He's been mean to me all day, Ron. Ron is not proven enough. Yesterday, today. Hey, I brought you a Spiga yesterday. Somebody better feed me while Melissa's gone because I ain't going to eat on my own so uh let's get into this challenge this uh challenge was from ron sensing for his wife jen uh so we're going to continue in the clear belly series with these four colors into this bait uh so jen this bait's for you girlfriend i hope you like it i guess we might as well just jump on into it and get a paint job going on heading on You should just go over there and give Ron a big old hug around the neck. Smooch him on the cheek or something. Now I know you like blue. So blue it is. Gonna be some blue all over this bait. Our first color we're going to jump out here with is going to be our yellow, bright yellow. Jeep Trapper also says that chewing interferes with the healing process, and they tested him. Really? It sucks. Well, that's what I got to do. That's what I'll do. 
And when they did that, he didn't have to quit smoking or nothing. So. But yeah, if that's what I need to do, that's what I'll do. I sure give it up to be able to walk again. You know what I'm saying? Walk normal. Wouldn't be too happy about it, but I'd do it. So talking about the lure and Jen's favorite color being blue. Yeah, yeah, I knew your, that. Your wife says, there you are, and sends a little heart emoji. To me? Or is uh, she sending that to you? Well, she doesn't see me on screen, so oh. I'm going to guess it's you. I sure hope it wasn't me. That'd be a little awkward. Why? Because I said so. I'm sure Melinda would be thankful she gets a break. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so there's our yellow on this bait. Now we're going to go with some pearlized green. Createx pearl line. About 17 drops in there. I'm going to start laying it up here. Just a little bit towards that heat set it. Painting tonight with the HPCS. to the next one which is going to be our blue sapphire these are pretty cool uh little baits to paint uh they've been leaving my shop pretty fast chris will tell you that yes you were a very busy man yesterday oh, and today God. you can look up behind me on the wall and there's all the way over there to that corner the baits i painted the last two days Completely sold out of patchwork perch. They were all gone. So I had to paint a bunch more of those. 
Darcy said he's fed and watered, so now he can watch and relax. Awesome. Blue sapphire, just a few drops of that. No, 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 no. Being mean to me, Chris. I'll just kind of letting that dry a little bit more before we put a wrap on it. It is a little humid today, isn't it? It's very humid today. A tornado last night, folks, uh, three miles north of us. On the ground, tornado. I'll kind of bring you up out of the bed real quick. Yep. New Hope says no Patrick Birch, no surprise. Well, there's 20 of them behind me now. All different styles of baits. Darcy says hi, Chris. Hi, Charlie, but in the opposite order. Cool. Mr. Darcy, did you go fishing today? I think Ron was working on a two-foot lure today. I don't know if he went fishing or not. Yeah, very nice. You learn to be nice to people. Uh, it's not in my nature. Darcy says this evening after the show. Cool. I'll try to make it quick one. Well, I could make it real quick for you. I know you can. And broadcast. But then if you did that, Ron would get in his airplane. And he would fly down here. I whoop mine. Yeah. Yep. Uh, your wife would just be down here and whoop my ass too. Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> There's you some pretty blue, Miss Jen. Metallic sapphire. Ooh. Start laying that up in there real lightly. Or heat set between goats. And Ron says he did not get any fishing in. Oh, that sucks. He's probably too busy been working on your lure, in my opinion. Probably. Shiner guy? Yeah. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Rob. We're having us a little bit of a live paint tonight. That's going to look sick. I'm going to need one of those in my, in my uh, tackle box. Is tackle that the box. word you're looking That's for? Lord of mercy, son. And Ron says, don't make me start my airplane. It's probably one of those hand turning ones. It's going to be hard to start. No, probably not. Probably not. Um, Linda, Lindia? Uh, um, Lindia, yeah. Lindia? Small water starters. Yep, says pretty blue. Thank you, Lindia. It is a very pretty blue. How are y'all tonight? That Shiner guy says, very cool. He was looking at your work on your website last night. Very impressive. Look at this, folks. 
One moment, Mr. Widener. Oop, wrong way. I can't see that on camera. That's Jim's lure. There you go. Okay, one second. Did you get a good shot of it? A couple. It's still like to zoom in on you. Okay. So RC said he painted a yellow and red five of diamonds in a 2.5 square bill in Devon Minnow today. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very nice. Send me a picture. I want to see it. Or did he film it? <clears throat> Um, I'll look for the comments. Okay, now we're off to our hot saffron. Your daughter says, hi, how's it going? Hi, Dad. Going good. Chris is actually making me behave. Kind of. Small water says they work in the yard all day. John's all sore now. Oh, poor John. I'm going to go get in the hot tub, John. Oh, hot tub is a good idea. Yeah. Darius just says very nice. He fished that. Yeah, me too. And the rest of it's your wife chatting up with Jen and Darcy and, and uh, Lindia. Sorry. And uh, Darcy says he'll send you a picture. Nice. Can't wait to see it. So we're just doing our hot saffron right under our chin on this bait. And we'll uh, heat set it and put another coat on it. Get Jen some eyes put on her bait here. I got quite a few baits going out again next week. Which is great. Got baits going out to New Hope. Got baits going out to Small Waters. I got baits going out to Patrick Quick. And I'm sure Denny will be Lenny, Denny will be by to pick up all his. Busy, busy, busy. I'm jumping in and defending you. Okay, all right. From your wife. What'd she say? Nothing. Oh, well, why aren't you defending me then? Inventory. What? That I don't have any? Yeah, uh, something like that. She's just picking on you. If you get below 500 on inventory, you don't have inventory. That's a military thing right there. Okay, put a water slide on this. Get my eyeballs over here. Just a fast little paint, fun little paint. I don't want to take up too much of anybody Saturday night. So. That's going to be sick.
New Hope is calling your wife a meanie. Yeah. Ain't nothing new. He also says it's looking awesome. Jen says she's loving it. I really don't like these water slides. Okay, let's we'll let that sit there and dry a minute. We'll find some eyes. I love how you have your eyes organized now. I don't, but I can't find nothing. You couldn't find them before. Yes, I could. They were right there. All the time. Well, they're all right there now. And now you can flip through them a lot easier. Yeah. So I'm going to put blue eyes on this one for Jen. This is my plan. Paint some beads. <laughs> oh, Lord. Do I even want to know? Your wife is threatening Ron. She is one left turn for Pennsylvania. That's messed up. So, Miss Jen, I'm putting dark blue eyes on it for you, a sapphire blue eye that matches the paint. Hey there, Chrisser. Dark blue eye. Good. I guess it's about time for Poxy, ain't it, Hanson? Just about. That was a pretty fast little paint, wasn't it? Yes. Once it we got out of the gate. I don't know what happened because you saw when we started the first five minutes before, the camera was working. Something yeah. happened. When you reached up there, you hit that back button on that deal. I must have hit something. Yeah. Um, New Hope says, LOL, come on then, Mel. And your wife says that you'd be mad. No, I wouldn't be mad. Oh, Jen says they're just like Ron's eyes. Blue sapphires? I, I guess. Well, that's cool. That's going to be an awesome damn day. I'll kiss that sucker in a minute. Charlie Cardi says hello, everyone. Hello, Charlie. Your wife says cockpit trouble, Hanson. I'm staying out of all of that. It's best just for me to sit over here and be quiet. Shut up. Well, you're the one on camera. You need to talk. I want to do the boxes. So on this bait, this jerk bait, uh, one and one, one of the epoxy, one of the or the resin, one of the hardener. No, oh, I got to move around a little bit. Old broken ass leg. <laughs> um, Ron says that Jen's afraid to fish it. Ah, Jen, you go fish it. I do know a fat guy that can paint another one. Uh, your wife says another one bites the dust in the case. 
<laughs> well, Melissa, I did do you a favor and charged all of your batteries for you. Yep. Well, I guess we're fixing to put some epoxy on this bad boy, huh? Told you I hated those things. They're not sticking anymore. What's not sticking? The water slides. I think they've been out here too long. Oh, uh, probably in the humidity? Yeah. Hello from Big Hook Catfishing Clear Lake, California. Hello, Big Hook. How are you now, buddy? There we go, folks. James Lewis. Darcy's sending somebody lures, and they should arrive on the 4th of June. I'm looking for him. You're looking for him? Yep, and I'm going to send him some back. Big Hook says, hello, guys. He's doing just dandy on this end. Sure on that. <laughs> I don't know, Goose. What is it? It's all right. I tried. Me did all right. Hard to see. Camera won't ever do the lure justice anyway. Let's get her home up over here. Dry. Very nice. Easy little paint. Fast little paint. Okay, Chris, let's unhook that. Put the computer up here and I'll visit with them a little bit. Sounds good. So we're going to switch to the computer and off the camera now that we're done painting. And we'll converse about it. So, so, so. Oh. There you go. Okay, Chris, I don't have nothing up here. I know. Well, I'm coming. You gotta, see, you, you gotta fix it before I hit it with a hammer. So I gotta do come down here where it says camera. Can you see where it belongs? As I can. I hit camera. We'll go to the go second to, one. Go to drop down and go to that. Yep. Now, y'all are so very welcome, Jen and Ron. Uh, thank you, Lindia. Don't forget to click on them. Hi, Amy.
Yeah, Charlie, we've been having really good luck here with those clear belly series. Uh, the guys have tearing the small mouth and large mouth up with them. You know, I always said throw something different at them. So, yeah, I really like to do those. Hear your wife yelling at me, Goose. Why is she yelling at you? For having the camera up too high. Oh, I don't care. Well, I don't have to put up with you. I have to put up with her. She's meaner than you. I like her right there. Well, yeah, they were, they're a lot of fun to paint. They're real fast paint. Just use your imagination. Paint one up. always fun like I was saying we got quite a few going out next week we got to get them all packaged up and ready to go on Monday everything will be closed Tuesday. around here get them packaged for Monday and they can go Tuesday yeah yeah shoot yeah Red and green. Awesome. I've got one uh, kind of similar to that. Give me that box of wood, would you, Chris? That I call the veined perch. Is that the new pattern that I've been playing with a little bit? Yes. This is it right here. I call it a vein perch. If you look in there, you can see the vein on that thing. And it's in the clear belly series too. Pretty cool. Cool bait. There's one in a S crank. Might be able to see it better. I don't know. None of the cameras are that great. You can see the veining in it. Just something I've been playing with there. So let me give this to Chris so I don't get him in trouble with the wife. He's in trouble anyway. What am I in trouble for? Way to go, Amy. Three pounder. So I'm always uh, playing with something different. I guess that's kind of my trademark. I do traditional stuff, but I'm playing with something different all the time. I think that will be a pretty good bait. Let me ask you folks a question. And is it bad when your best buddy shows up with his tackle box empty and says, fill it? I have never brought my tackle box over here. <laughs> well, you told me to bring it over here. Yeah, I told you to bring it over here. Yeah, Jill, that was a great looking bait. How's your eyes doing, Charlie? That's one, Darcy, that I've never painted as a pumpkin seed. Uh, I may try that one these days. But I'd have to make it my own colors, you know. I don't know if I'd go traditional or not. But maybe. I don't know that I would. So. Transparent gill, yep. You're going to really like that, Amy. Does he have a pocket full of good money? <laughs> no, he don't. So. Yeah, Shiner, mine ain't either. I got 13 of them running around in here. 14 now because Melissa bought me another one the other day. Just for my uh, crappie stuff.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure will. Step a turn up a box. Sure. That'll work just fine. Yeah, Amy, I love that shad you painted the other day. That was a great looking bait. I got several of those uh, Tennessee shad patterns that I do. I kind of mix them up a little bit. Make them different. That's awesome. Hope you can see a lot better now. You need more and bigger boxes? Well, we'll see what we can do about that, Ron. Next box is for Jim. And you can't fish it. She's going to lock it in the gun cabinet. Oh, yeah, it, it was a... I'm really, I'm really, really, really liking those, uh, that Clear Belly series. I mean, they are doing good here, you know, but what works here may not work where you're at, so. So it may not do it, but hopefully it will. I'm going to send Darcy's lures out. Probably then the next week they'll be leaving. You had the keys. Jen sent them to me in the mail the other day. Frank, are you still in here? Did you go out fishing yet? Yeah, we got some pretty cool paints coming up. I've even changed up the, when we change up the patchwork perch and do a whole new pattern on it. So that's going to be a fun one. I'm going to leave a white belly on this next, next one that I've got going through my head. So it's going to be pretty cool. That's a very popular bait. Uh, let me grab one back here. Well, this is a, a new bait that I got. And it's in a patchwork pattern. It's a deep diver. Trying to get me in trouble again? For what? I don't care what she says. She went off to Minnesota and left me here with the keys to the gun case, so I came out here and worked. This is a same one, just the pattern's a little bit different on this one. If y'all can see it. I don't know, I'm not very good at this. You can see it on, so, on that screen, Goose. They can see it. Yeah. Very nice bait. Uh, that's the one that they're killing them on with. Is that pattern here? I guess Ron's killing them too. And look at this one, Ron. It's a baby. In the patchwork. Tiny little thing. This one's going to Patrick quick. So, cool. Then you got your 2.5s, 1.5s. Uh, this one's a brand new bait that I ordered in. Another deep diver here. 
in the patchwork pattern. So, well, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, they're deep diving. I've got them in almost every uh, blank that I have, Shiner. I paint that pattern in. Yeah, Darcy, you'll be getting one sent your way. In our little exchange deal we're doing, so just tell me you want deep diving, you want 2.5, you want an S crank, just let me know which one you want. So, and I've got jerk baits too. Yeah, that's, I love painting that pattern. It takes a long time because it's got like 10 steps into that pattern to get it to where it's at. Yeah, Charlie, I like that red in that throat too. So yeah, I, that's, I just absolutely love to paint that pattern. Yeah, I certainly do. They're beautiful. Not nothing like anybody else has that I know of. I laid there in bed one night thinking because I'm too old for sleeping anymore. And uh, that pattern came into my head and I came out here and painted it the next day. Darcy, I don't know why they wouldn't work on trout. Yeah. I've caught trout on this lure right here, which is a little bit of uh, bloodgill here. I've caught trout on this lure, and I've caught some on this little perch pattern right here on this lure too i've caught some trout so if you can't catch them you can at least scare them okay darcy i'll get you an s crank painted and sent to you buddy that'll be my pleasure remember talk comments on the screen Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too busy talking. I know. Your wife is reminded. Yeah, Shiner. That's the way it is. The way it is here. They like those gills. Well, it's certainly different, ain't it, Ron? You know how it fishes. Darcy wants an S crank. Uh, red and orange in the throat. Yeah. Orange belly, yellow belly, red belly. Any one of the three is very good. Uh, I leave some white, but not very many of them anymore. I like the colors, bright colors. So now I got a, about 50 lures to hook up. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I know you can't see good enough to hook them. So. I can hook them. I was hooking them for a while. I was hooking them until you slowed down and you could hook yeah, them yeah. as you went. Yeah. Well, that's Chris. Y'all hearing over there in the background. He's a technical support. I'm Melissa's replacement. Yeah. Oh, for Sandy. Yeah, they're pretty awesome, Lindy. I love that pattern. I started doing all that and putting all those colors. People looked at me like I'd lost my mind. I did. Sometimes you just stumble onto something that you really like. So, certainly do. 
Yeah, I paint running. Some lures and sent to him. Uh, and I did a green. I did one that was bluegill on one side of the bait and green sunfish on the other side of the bait. And I, I didn't even tell him. I just sent it to him. And he caught it real quick. I was pretty impressed with that. Uh, he caught it fast. That's a pretty nice looking bait. I just wanted to see if he'd catch on. And he did. I got a whole bunch more spinner baits to get redone too. I got stuff everywhere in this shop today. I pulled across all of these. I'll get these things and I'll re rework them, repaint them. I sent Ron a couple of these the other day too. I'll repaint it, take all that off and reprime them, repaint them. And this is another Stanley Ron. A couple of buzz baits that I got. You find these things laying around the lake and everywhere else and just pick them up. Bring them home. This is one that I've been working on. I got all the paint off of it now. So we'll keep on working on that one. That one's pretty rusty, but I can put new blades and stuff on this one. Redo it. And this little one right here. To get a whole new paint job, blades and all. Sometimes it's a lot of fun to get those blades off. Those old split rings get rusted together and it's... Sometimes I have to say the words to get them to come off of there. I don't throw anything away that I think I can rebuild. Never have done that. Rebuild it and make it better. Oh, well, we've been on for an hour now, folks. Uh, I just want to say thank you for coming out and spending some time with us. Uh, our next live will be Thursday night at 6. We're going to tell them what we'll do Thursday night. We may have guests on Thursday night. So, uh, Your wife will be in house Thursday night. My wife will be here Thursday night. She's probably going to make me comb my hair when she comes home. Having a pair of cones. You better quit picking on me. I'm gonna get Jen after you. I'm not afraid. You better be. I'm not. But uh, we'd really like for y'all to join us on Thursday. Uh, on the wish each and every one of you a very happy Memorial Day. Uh, you know, keep those fish in the boat, folks. And uh, y'all have a very blessed one. And we're going to end our broadcast. We'll catch you later. I'm going to try to end the broadcast. On Top right corner. Why oh, it's not coming up with the Top right. Hang on. Y'all are all very welcome and have a blessing. Yeah, it is. I'm looking at the bottom.